Hi students, this is chapter 5, lesson 6, and before you write anything down, uh, you may use a Cornell note page for today's notes and vocabulary here and make the coordinate plane here. Uh, however, if it's easier, uh, you may want to switch to a piece of grid paper for today's notes. Uh, if you, again, you can do it on this. You'll just have to make the lines going this way uh, when you make your coordinate plane, this right here. So, um, can use this if you'd like today. Uh, if you're taking notes in your comp book, you will just have to make this, or you could also use a piece of grid paper for today's notes and insert it in your comp book. Okay, let's get started. Lots of vocabulary today, and some of it may be new to you. Some of it I think you will know, uh, but some probably new. Uh, so chapter 5, lesson 6, is called the coordinate plane. This is a coordinate plane. If you look back at lesson uh, 1, we talked about number lines uh, in lesson 1. We talked about how they can be horizontal, that's this way. We also talked about how number lines can be vertical, up and down. And as you can see, to make a coordinate plane, we overlay a horizontal number line with a vertical number line. And they cross right at 0, 0. Positive numbers count this direction, and so to the right, and up, negative numbers count to the left and down. So this thing is a coordinate plane. So I'm just going to, first thing I'm just going to do is that saying that this whole diagram is a coordinate plane. And the first vocabulary word is the x-axis. Uh, you might know which one is the x-axis, but we're going to label it so you know for sure. This is the x-axis, the horizontal number line. So I'm going to put x-axis right there. Next vocabulary word is then the y-axis. So now I'm sure you know that the vertical number line is known as the y-axis. And you notice I didn't count all the way up. I could, uh, but I'm going to label this the y-axis. And those will be very important when we talk about something else in this lesson. So x-axis, here it is. Draw a little arrow. and y-axis, the vertical, vertical number line. Uh, the next vocabulary word that we're going to write down is called the origin. The origin is the point located at 0, 0, right there, where uh, the two number lines cross. So the origin is located at 0, 0. So I'm going to put a point. Again, when we label uh, coordinates uh, or ordered pairs on a coordinate plane, I'm going to make a little circle like that. So that is the origin right there. And let's make that different color here. Origin is pink. So this is the origin right there. Whenever you're putting uh, plotting uh, ordered pairs on a coordinate plane, you always start at the origin. Okay, uh, So we will always start here when we're putting points on the graph on the coordinate plane. 
Uh, next one is quadrants. And there's four of them. There's quadrant one. Quadrant two. And the quadrants use Roman numerals to identify them. One, two, three, and quadrant four. <clears throat> so now let's talk about which is which. Quadrant one is always going to be a positive x-coordinate and a positive y-coordinate. So quadrant one are going to be all the points in this quadrant, and it extends out beyond that. So this is quadrant quadrant one. And again, those are positive, positive coordinates. Uh, quadrant two is this quadrant. all the points over here. And these are given by a negative x-coordinate and a positive y-coordinate. So negative and then positive. Quadrant 3 is this quadrant right here. If I start at the origin, to get to quadrant 3, I'm going to need a negative x-coordinate and then a negative y-coordinate. That puts me into quadrant 3. A negative, negative. And the last one, quadrant 4. If I start at the origin, the, the way I get into quadrant 4 is a positive x-coordinate and then a negative Y coordinate. That puts me into quadrant four. So quadrant four is a positive and a negative ordered pair. Okay, next. Uh, let's see. We did axes, origin, quadrants. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is ordered pairs. So now we've kind of set up our coordinate plane. The big idea today is knowing what a coordinate plane and its components are, and then how we put ordered pairs onto the coordinate plane. It is always x coordinate comma y coordinate. Always, always, always. And the big idea today for putting ordered pairs on a coordinate plane is this thing right here. Well, x comma y means the first number is always going to tell you right or left. The second number is always going to tell you up or down. It is always that pattern. And the biggest mistake I find is that kids mix these up. They will go up first and then over. It is always this pattern. You go right or left first. If it's positive, you go right. If it's negative, you go left. And then up or down second. If it's positive uh, y coordinate, you'll move up. If it's negative, you will move down. Uh, so let's, I, let's add those on here. So this is going to be a positive, positive, negative in this direction, and negative in that direction. Okay, now let's put some coordinates on our coordinate plane. And we label coordinates, usually with letters, like point A, we will put at, uh, let's see, negative three, comma, seven. So, get back to the highlighter here. Uh, Ordered pairs, really big idea with ordered pairs is this. It's always x comma y and this thing right here. This is 
what you have to follow, your guide for putting coordinates on the coordinate plane. Negative, the ordered pair, negative 3, 7. Always start at the origin, negative 3. I'm going to move this direction, negative 3, positive 7. I'm going to go up 7, following this guide right here. So negative 3, positive 7, this is where I would put the ordered pair, negative 3, comma, 7. And I can label it A. Uh, I could also put the actual coordinates, negative 3, 7. That's where ordered pair, or point A, would be plotted on the coordinate plane. Uh, let's do another one. Whoops. Let's do point B. And we'll put that at negative 5, negative, negative 5, negative 2. And again, following this guide, negative 5 x coordinate, negative 2 y coordinate, that's where point B belongs. Point C. Four, comma, two. Positive x coordinate four, y positive y coordinate two. Start at the origin. One, two, three, four, up two. There's where C belongs. Ordered pair D uh, is 6.5 comma negative 3 and a half. So uh, 6.5, your coordinates may not be on a whole number. 6.5 positive means I'm going to move to the right out to 6 and right in between 6 and 7. I'm going to be in 6.5 and then I'm going to move down 3.5. So from 6.5 I'm going to move down. Here's negative 3, here's negative 4. I want to be right in the middle. So if I plot point D, coordinate D, 6.5 positive and then negative 3.5, I'm going to be right there and I'm going to label that D. So that is not on any grid lines. It is right in the middle of 6 and 7, and it is right in the middle of negative 3 and negative 4, because negative 3 and a half would be right here, and positive 6 and a half is right here. This point is in quadrant 4. We've now got a ordered pair in every quadrant. And the last thing we'll talk about today are reflections. I'm running out of room here. I have to write kind of small. So reflections. So point C... reflected across y axis and we will call that c prime that little mark right there is called prime so here's what you think of with reflections the word reflecting it when you have a coordinate plane think Fold. If I go to point C, here I am at point C. I am at the coordinates 4, 2, and I want to reflect across the y-axis. That means I fold on the y-axis. So imagine I'm at point C, right there where my finger is, and I fold on 
the y-axis. So reflected on the y-axis means folded on the y-axis. So here I am at point C. I'm going to fold across the y-axis. C prime is going to be right there. If I fold across the y-axis, C prime is going to be right here. And the coordinates of C prime are negative 4, positive 2. Negative 4, positive 2. Uh, we'll do one more reflection. We'll do point C. Uh, reflected across x-axis and we will make that point C double prime with two marks. So same idea we go to point C here I am at point C and I reflect or fold when you hear the word reflection, think fold. If we reflect across the x-axis, here I am at point C, here is the x-axis, I want to fold. Where is point C going to land? If I fold across the x-axis, it is going to land right here. So this is where C double prime would land. And the coordinates C folded across the x-axis would be positive 4, negative 2. 4, negative 2. So that, let me highlight that. Okay, so reflections, again, think fold. So uh, today your practice is going to be uh, identifying quadrants, putting ordered pairs onto a coordinate plane. This is big idea for coordinate plane is this right here and ordered pairs always follow this. This is super important right here. Ordered pairs always follow this guide. All right. That does it for Chapter 5, Lesson 6. Here is your uh, Hidden Treasure Puzzle. Chapter 5, Lesson 6. Solve that. What common phrase do you get from that puzzle? Um, again, can't win if you don't solve the puzzle. Watch the video. Solve the puzzle. Have all your chapter notes and I will be checking for the assigned pages to be completed. Uh, okay, that does it for coordinate plane, lesson six. I will see you soon for lesson seven.